making Hillary said she's leaving U.S. to be president, won't like it where she's going. Hillary Clinton has wanted to be president for decades, and last year she really thought she would win. Hillary had the support of the crooked liberal mainstream media, money from George Soros, celebrity endorsements, and of course, voter fraud galore. Everything was lined up correctly for Hillary to be crowned but that all changed the moment Donald Trump stepped onto the scene. The tough-talking New Yorker dashed Clinton's chances for a presidential win and in the process also destroyed the Democrat Party in a single blow. For a year, liberals have been pouting over Trump's win, and Hillary Clinton is still licking her wounds and obsessively whining about losing the election. And, it appears she is not giving up on her dream of being president even if that means leaving the country, or planet to be elected. In the real world when someone starts talking about living in an alternate universe where they are president, it usually signals that they have had a break with reality, and they would be taken quickly to a doctor. Well, that would be a logical solution, though if you are Hillary Clinton and you fantasize about being president on another planet, it is just laughed off. In a recent interview with a liberal online publication, Now This, Hillary Clinton sat down to be interviewed and languished over being president on another planet. Yeah, you read that correctly. Hillary Clinton actually sat down and daydreamed about being president on the fictional planet Earth 2 where she would save the world from Kim Jong-un and how she would handle the supposed Russian collusion. Here is more from the American Mirror. Hillary Clinton really wants to be president, even if that means blasting off from Earth to do so. The failed Democratic candidate recently talked with Now This, a liberal online news outlet, where she pined for a presidency. While discussing a variety of topics, Clinton envisioned leaving Earth and venturing Earth too, where that planet faces the same issues as the actual Earth. We went to another planet with Hillary, the caption reads as Clinton and Now This is Nico Pinney fired off a series of topics. People joke about Earth too, where you are president he told a giggling Hillary. On Earth 2's North Korea, Clinton said she would have full-on diplomatic pressure to solve the crisis with the portly dictator Kim Jong-un. Clinton said if she was in charge, she would be putting as much money as it took into enforcing the laws we already have, and added she would want universal background checks. After answering a question about the opiate crisis, a handler attempted to cut off the interview. I fear we have to end it here. A voice off camera said. Okay, Pitney responded. You want one more? I'll be short, one more. Because I like being on Earth too, Hillary said. Pitney then asked Clinton what she would do about Russia. If I had been president, or on Earth too, where I am, Hillary said she would have an independent commission look into the alleged Russian hacking of the presidential election. I worry about 18. I worry about 2020 because this is the first time we've even been attacked and not imposed any real consequences on our adversary," Clinton asserted, ignoring moves by congressional Republicans and the Trump administration to impose new sanctions on Russia since the election. The LA Times reported in late October. The Russian government on Friday accused the United States of displaying hostility as the Trump administration belatedly took the first steps toward imposing new sanctions to punish Moscow for interfering in the 2016 presidential election. In early August, after considerable delay and with minimal fanfare, President Trump signed into law a measure that required the new sanctions, which target individuals and firms with ties to Russian defense and intelligence agencies. Under the law, companies that knowingly engage in a significant transaction with people or firms on the list could be subject to U.S. sanctions after January 28. It appears that Hillary Clinton has lost her mind completely, but no one on the left will say it in order to save face. They all know that Hillary Clinton is damaged goods and by her doing these public interviews and making these outlandish remarks only proves the point more. Instead of Hillary Clinton retiring and fading off into the distance, she continues to push her insane conspiracy theories and whine about losing the election. If she had any sense of decency in her, she would just keep her mouth shut and leave the American people alone, but that isn't how Hillary works. Hopefully, 
One day soon she will officially retire or find another hobby that doesn't involve politics or activism so we all be left alone in peace, in peace.